everybody, it's Ismail here from Random Cast, and today we're out here in Lake Houston once more, but this time we didn't bring Zoe or Mia, but I didn't bring my dad, but, Diola, he's over there fixing his, uh, uh, what, uh, walker, his walker, there we go. One of the brakes uh, messed up, so he's trying to fix it a little bit. While I wait for him to finish fixing his walker, I'm gonna go ahead and throw out some, some rods, some baits, and some of my crawlers that I have. Here, let me go ahead and show you real quick. Um, sorry, mom. Perdóname, mamá. Estoy utilizando tu tu contenedor. I'm using my mom's container, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. It's really nothing that bad. I brought some frozen baits, some shrimp, some tilapia, some bluegill, some carps, and I don't know. I think I have mullet in there. It's nasty stuff. So, and just in case if there's anything out here, I mean it's kind of rough. I don't know if I should do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it either way. I brought my cast in it with us. Okay. Um, let's see if I can catch some black bait or anything like that. Alright, my dudes, first things first, I'm gonna show you my rig, my Daiwa rig. We've got a two ounce weight right here, pyramid weight, with a swivel, but the tip swivel, a uh, bead, another swivel right here, leading to a 30 pound monofilament line leader. There we go. With a small size six octopus hook, I believe, with a piece of tilapia. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out. The reason why I'm using a heavy weight is because the, the tide is a little bit um, rough out here. Water's a little bit rough. The wind is really, really strong today. I believe we're gonna need a big weight for it to hold the, the bait. I've said enough, let's go ahead and throw it out. All right, my dudes, well for now, I'm gonna be throwing this uh, three fourth ounce egg weight right here with a bead and a night crawler and throw it right here on the edge see if we can catch a catfish or something first fish of the day let's see what is this oh that's a good one wow is it the bueno is it the bueno look at that fish right there guys a nice you got okay it's just keeper no she is I think we're gonna go ahead and measure him and see if we can keep him. Let's look at that. He is a little bit more than 12 inches, one foot. Oh, he's moving out. Look at that. From there to the end, he's just a little bit more than 12 inches. About 13. Yeah, he's actually 13 inches. So we're gonna go ahead and keep him. Keep this guy. All right guys, look at this. He's all full of grass but here let me let me actually go wash them there we go look at that look at those spots that black tip on the on the end of the of the tail little black outline pretty awesome look at that awesome all right let's keep fishing my dude, second fish of the day. Let's see, what is this? Ah, it's a yellow bass. Look at that. Pretty awesome yellow bass. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take off the hook. Let's see. Oh man, he swallowed the hook. Pretty bad. Uh. Alright, my dude. Well, I got to hook this little white, uh, yellow bass right here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep it and use it for bait. Um, because it's it's pretty small to eat. So probably just cut it up in pieces and uh, use that as bait. I'm gonna post a little link right here saying that um, you can keep any, any uh, size of these and any limit. So we're gonna go ahead and keep it. Let's go. All right, my dudes, we've got something good on. Change it to carp. Let's see, what is this? I better have something on, man. If I don't, I'm gonna be sad. what is this oh it's a nice catfish can you pass me the net please it's a nice channel cat bring it up a little bit there we go you got it. another keeper right here this is a channel has some spots right there he is let's see about 17 inches a little bit close to 17 inches. There we go. See that? 
So, I think, or actually, I don't think we're gonna go ahead and keep this guy. Pretty decent sized one. Guys, as soon as I threw this, this carp right here, it started biting. They did not pay attention to the tilapia, so I guess carp is gonna be my go-to for catfish. All right, I got something on, guys. Right here, oh wow, kind of pulling. Oh, what is this? Another yellow bass. Let's see. Oh wow, oh no, it's another catfish. Another catfish, let's see. Put him up, there we go. Another yellow catfish. Channel catfish, pretty awesome. All right, fellas, we're back home and we're gonna do the catch clean. I mean, we're gonna do the clean and cook part of the video. So, if you don't like um, seeing guts and blood and all that stuff, uh, I might suggest um, skipping to this part right here, which is gonna go straight to the cooking part. But I'm gonna show, right now, I'm gonna show the part where you clean the fish and everything. So, let's go straight to it. Okay, here I've got a wooden plank with a nail at the end of it, and this is a iron clamp holding it down to the table. This will be needed to skin the catfish. You'll just simply need a regular fillet knife and just a simple pair of pliers. All right, so here I've got my catfish, the largest one that we caught. The rest of them I gave away to some friends and we just stayed with the largest one. So firstly, what you wanna do is put the fish on the nail right there. Of course, it already being dispatched. All right, so it should be looking a little bit like this. Please be careful when you do this because the uh, nail can be sharp and you can stick it into your hand by accident. Also, I forgot to mention, please don't do what I didn't do. Cut off the dorsal fins barb and both pectoral fins barbs because you can't stick those into your hand as well. Simply just grab your pair of pliers and clip the barbs off. Just like this. And as you can see, it's pretty sharp, so you don't want, want to be working with sharp stuff like that. All right, let's begin the skinning process first. So what you want to do is grab your fillet knife and start cutting just the skin, not all the way through, and start only outlining the fillet that you want to get. So just cut right next to the dorsal fin, all the way down to the tail. Then you continue doing the same thing right here on the bottom side, right above that rib cage. You'll see the little outline of the ribs right there. Cut right on that line. Don't cut all the way through, just the skin. So just cut like right above the skin until you see a little bit of the meat. So just like as I do right here, you see how I'm doing it and you see a little bit of that, of that meat. Just like that. All the way down to that bottom fin right there. Next, you want to lift up a little bit of the that corner skin right there. Just a little bit, just so you can grab it with your pliers. Just like that. Grab your pliers and grab just the tip of that skin and start pulling back towards the tail, like so. And the skin should come off like this. Sometimes the whole skin will come out, but as you see right here, uh, a little bit of that skin is left. So just grab that tip of the skin and pull it back as well and it should come out. Go ahead and discard the skin and it should be looking like this. Now let's start filleting. So cut as deep as you can and start going, working your way all along the spine as you can see right here, right above those bones and cut all the way down to towards the tail. Cut all the way down until you reach that spine bone in the middle like that. And when you reach that bone, try to angle your knife a little bit. That way you don't miss that much of the meat that's right there in the bones when you get to this part of the fillet just try not to cut through the bones and cut right above the anal fin just like i am doing right here and cut down towards the tail once you reach the rib cage just keep cutting and try not to puncture the ribs you'll feel uh, the hard parts and you'll feel the soft parts um the hard parts will be the bones and just cut right above those uh rib that rib cage right there and then like I'm doing right now, just slowly, slowly until you get all that meat off. And just like that, you have one catfish fillet done. As you can see, I left a little bit of meat right there on the meat, on the catfish. 
but that's okay. By no means am I an expert on filleting catfish or any fish at all, but I try my best, and that's what matters. So let's continue on to the next parts. When you continue on to the other side, it's going to be the same thing. Just do the outline, draw the little line on the skin, uh, skin it, pull with the pliers, um, and then just fillet the fish uh, as good as possible, and that will be it. And just like that, it should be pretty easy. Now, we don't want the catfish to go to waste, so I'm going to show you the process of getting the belly meat off. So, to begin with, cut right below that pectoral fin and below those rib cages, and cut all the way down to those pelvic fins and to the anus. Try not to cut all the way through or you'll puncture some organs and that's not what you want to do. Now that we're done with the one side, just continue with the other side. Same thing, just below that pectoral fin and below those rib cages, all the way down to the anal fin. And just when you get to the, to the anus, just cut back towards the tail like so. Keep cutting until you get that belly meat off the fish. And just like that, very easily, you have that nice belly meat fillet. Taking the skin off of this part of the, the belly, it's pretty fairly easy. Just go ahead and pull with your fingers or you can use your pliers as well. Also, I didn't show this in the video, but if you want to take off the pelvic fins, you can go ahead and do so. Just cut them off from the fillet and you'll have just boneless fillets just like that easily. If you want to keep the bones with the head to make some kind of fish broth, just go ahead and take off all the guts like I did so and go ahead and rinse it off and take off any bits and pieces of nasty stuff that are in there and you'll stay with just the bones and the rest of the meat that you left there. Alright my dudes, well we're back here at home and we're at the kitchen. This is the catfish fillets. We have some of the tools that we're, we're gonna be using. And we have the ingredients right here in the display. So we have an egg, we have canola oil, we have flour, we have the two containers that we're gonna be mixing the stuff with. This is um, onion powder. Yeah, that is onion powder, there we go. We have Sanson Goya, black pepper, and we have paprika, and then some chili powder, sea salt as you can see in big letters and finally and lastly garlic powder we have the pan heating up so now that i've showcased everything let's get straight to preparing the catfish fillets so now firstly let's um cut the fillets into little one inch pieces because we're gonna do some chicken nuggets or should i say catfish nuggets just like so you can cut them like i'm doing it right now or you can cut them a little bit bigger or just do the whole fillet Hole. There we go. They should be looking a little bit like this. Let's season the fillets a little bit. This is sea salt right here. Let's add a little bit right here on the fillets. Let's go just like that. Now let's continue that with a little bit of black pepper right above that. There we go. Just a little bit on all of them. Just like so. Look at that. Now we're gonna add one last condiment. We're gonna add a little bit of this Sazon Goya on them. Just a little bit because you'll see that if you add a little bit, you see it, just a little bit of that and it already turns it all orange. So just add a little bit of all the little pieces of filet right there, just like that. Go ahead and flip them over and mix it all together that way that the filets get all the condiments in all the right places, just like so. Now let's add a little bit of an egg right here on this bowl. Just crack it open, drop it in that bowl like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and whisk it. All right, let's whisk it all over and over until there's not a lot of white spots. It should be looking all yellow, just like this. Next, let's add a little bit of flour, just a cup. Just like so, let's put it in the bowl. Let's add a little bit of black pepper, a little bit of onion powder, there we go, a little bit of paprika, there we go, just a little bit. Next, a hint of chili powder, not too much. Next, let's add some garlic powder. You can never 
add too much garlic powder, trust me, it tastes really good. Let's add some dashes of salt, not too much. Lastly, let's add some sazon goya, enough to cover the whole flour and give it a little bit of color. Not too much though. Then go ahead and mix it until you get a little bit of a color on the flour. Let's add some oil to the pan, enough to cover the whole area like that. So what I'm doing here is just double coating the uh, fish fillet or the nuggets. So put it in the flour, and then put it in the egg, just like so, mix it all over like that. And then put it back on the flour one more time. And then once it's all covered up with the flour, go ahead and put it on the hot oil, just like so. And we're gonna do this with all the nuggets that we have there. Let's see. There we go, look at that. That looks nice. Try to get them into looking a little bit golden brown, just like so. You see, I'm adding a little bit more. We still got a lot, a lot more to add. Keep them on there until they're, they're kind of brownish, golden brownish, and then flip them over until the other side turns golden brownish as well. And then just serve. Once the piece is ready, just go ahead and get a plate with a paper towel on it and put it right there. Let that oil dry off and just continue with the rest of them. Just like so, look at that. All right, let's go ahead and try this thing out. Let's see if these came in good. And we have a little bit of ketchup right here. So first off, let's try it. Let's try it just like this. All right. Here's a poquito más of salt. All right, I needed a little bit more salt. I didn't add the, the um, salt necessary that I needed. Um, but let's see how it tastes this uh, with a little bit of ketchup right here. Let's dip it in there. There we go. Oh, that's not focusing in there. There we go. There's a difference. Can you come try it out? Mm -hmm. There's a difference with the ketchup. So definitely, if you're gonna do this, have a little side of whatever, ketchup, Tabasco, or any kind of sauce on the side, it definitely will help. Alrighty, it's well, it's always gonna go ahead and try it out, the catfish chicken nuggets. Let's go ahead and <laughs> take one piece, or you choose your piece. Alright, so try it out just like that. Just gonna dip it right there. Too good. Don't walk away from the camera. <laughs> so tell the camera what what does it need? Like what do you need? What do you feel like it needs more? Nothing. <laughs> All it needs is ketchup. You need ketchup? Or barbecue sauce? Ketchup. Barbecue sauce? Uh-huh. Maybe put some barbecue sauce. <laughs> Alright, so apparently we did have some barbecue sauce. Go ahead and show the barbecue sauce. There we go. <laughs> we got it right there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try it with the barbecue sauce and see how that tastes like. Oh. We've only got two pieces left. Uh. So one for you, one for me. You already tried it? Bum. Okay, here, let me show the barbecue sauce right here. Uh, there we go. Go ahead and dip it in there. There we go. Let me see. Hey. Dip it in there. All right, so you got, you got her reaction. So you, you got Zoe's reaction, so maybe it's a little bit bad. I don't know. Let's see. It's not bad. What are, what are you talking about? It's spicy. It's spicy. Because it's spicy, she didn't like it. Yeah. I don't like spicy. Seriously, I do not. Well, guys, this was a great video. Um, well, I had a lot of fun making this video. It was really great. Um, the catfish were nice, really good. Um, except that I need a little bit more salt, but it's fine, you know. Just add that little bit of ketchup, and it tastes pretty good. Of course, I didn't do it all myself. I had the help of my sister. She helped me do some other things right here. 
Um, and flipping the little nuggets over as well. Whoa, she did a lot actually. She recorded a bunch of things as well, which I thank her a lot for that. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my Instagram page, go ahead and check it out. It's going to be right here in the front of the screen. There we go. And with that being said, guys, stay safe out there, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace. All right. Guys, I forgot to mention this, but if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell button to get notifications, and like, comment, and share with your family and friends. It will help a lot. And again, thank you for watching. We're gonna add that as the as the the outro video. <laughs>